In this video, we'll cover the process of getting O3D installed and running quickly with the O3D installer for Windows. After a successful install, you'll have a stable, pre-built version of the O3D engine and its gems, and you'll be ready to create new or open existing projects with the Project Manager tool. The following instructions assume that you've met all hardware and software requirements listed in the O3DE system requirements page. For more information, please see the description below. Let's begin by visiting the O3D website at the following link. While there, locate and click on the download button in the upper right hand corner. This will take you to a download information page. While there, scroll down and click on the blue download installer button located in the center of the page. This will take you an additional page where you can find and download two versions of the O3D installer. You can download a current stable release of the engine by clicking the blue download button in the center or for the latest nightly development build, locate the text below this button that reads nightly development build. It's important to note that this particular build may contain untested features or bugs. Go ahead and click on and download the installer that works best for you. During developer preview, you might encounter the following warning from Microsoft Defender, describing the program as an unrecognized app. To proceed with installation, choose more info, then choose run anyway. Once the welcome to open 3D engine splash screen appears, you'll have the option to install the engine. To install O3D, choose install. During installation, additional files will be downloaded and windows might open and close. For example, when installing the Python runtime in the engine's Python directory. Upon successful installation, the installer displays the message, installation successfully completed. To open project manager, choose launch. To exit the installer, choose close. In order to make access to the engine much easier, the installer creates two shortcuts on the desktop for common O3D applications. First, there's the editor icon, which is a central hub for O3D's creative tools. A user would use the editor to make games or simulations, and it contains tools such as Animation Editor and Script Canvas. Next, there's the Project Manager, which is used to add or remove functionality to the project. You can also enable or disable gems through the Project Manager. Let's ensure that we've successfully completed the previous steps. Locate and double-click the Project Manager icon. This will open your Project Manager. Once open, click on the Create a Project button. This will open the Enter Project Details window. In the Project Name section, let's name our test project, My Project. Additionally, we can add or remove gems from our project by clicking on the Configure Gem button in the bottom right corner. For the sake of clarity, gems are packages that contain code and or assets to augment your Open3D Engine project. For more information about gems, see the description below. Let's return to our Project Details window by clicking the back arrow in the upper left-hand corner. Next, let's click on our Create Project button in the bottom right-hand corner. We'll receive a pop-up notifying that we need to build our project. Confirm this selection by clicking the OK button. The Project Manager will now display a new My Project tile. In order to build the project, locate and click on the Build Project drop-down button. Within it, select the Build Now option. A Building My Project pop-up window will appear. Click the Yes button to confirm your build choice. Once our project has completed the build process, let's open it by clicking on the Open Editor button on the My Project icon. A O3D Editor splash screen will appear, indicating what assets are currently being loaded by the asset processor. For more information about the asset processor, please see the description below. Once the necessary assets had been processed, the editor will open. This concludes our tutorial. Stay tuned for future O3D related tutorials.